uh, first went to uh, when we met was the their Nirvana show at the OK Hotel. Oh, nice. Uh, for the, the first, while well, Allison Chains was across the street yeah. filming the thing. And you were there. Did you see me there? I saw you there. I was there. You were standing behind the little backstage. Because at the time, backstage, like, okay, it the wouldn't story, have mattered. Do you want to hear that story? Yes. Um, my buddy, Mike Slater, my one of my best friends in the world, he would, uh, he'd always, like, drive me to gigs like you know I, I, had, I had a truck and everything and I, I would I could drive myself but he he always wanted to come to gigs with me so we heard about this okay Ho- hotel show with Nirvana with Dave um, you know like I think one of his third uh, second or third show here in Seattle with Nirvana maybe it was his first show here with Nirvana I don't know maybe but anyways uh, so we went to the back we went to the alleyway you know yeah. behind the okay and uh, knocked on the door and, and Chris was there so he let us in and uh, yeah, so we got to watch. We got to watch the whole set from the side there. <laughs> and there was one time. There was one point where Kurt. Um, I didn't really know him that well, but I, you know, we were definitely familiar and, and acquaintances and stuff. But uh, he broke his guitar string and he handed me the guitar and he's like, "Change my guitar string." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so there was a lunchbox, like a you know, oh, like a Scooby Doo lunchbox with. Like a, just some like wrapped up strings. I don't know what string I was supposed to change, but so I started to change his string. It's like okay, I'll, is this? I don't know. If the, I don't know what string goes on which thing here, and uh, and then uh, somebody came in and kind of like finished finished the job for me. But I, I <laughs> luckily, I, 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 luckily, yeah, calmer mind. Yeah. But it's cool. Like he just gave, oh. gave me the guitar. Change my string. <laughs> Gladly, sir. <laughs> what right. else can I do? My pleasure. A latte, perhaps? My pleasure. <laughs> right. It was Did, an honor. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you, uh, had you seen Nirvana pre-Dave? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For okay. sure. So was, For and, sure. And did you know Dave? No. I mean, I just met him through Nirvana. Uh, Chris introduced me when they played the off-ramp. Like, that was the first, or maybe it was the first or second, I don't know. Yeah. First or second time I, I saw them with Dave. Uh, yeah. So I, I wasn't aware, I wasn't really aware of his pre Nirvana stuff, but um, but you know Buzz has a great part in all of that as well. Uh, you know he recommended Dave. That to, was his work to Kurt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Buzz plays a huge role <laughs> in in all of our careers. Yeah. What 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 role did he play in yours? Oh, just you know, just kind of support and just you know, like we hung out. Uh, I, we we loved the Melvins, absolutely loved them. We didn't really get we didn't play too many shows with them, but when we did, it was always just fucking awesome. And they're just great dudes, man. Uh, but yeah, but that, I was at that at that Nirvana show, and I remember one other really good memory is like I was watching Dave play, and he was just I was just amazed at his fucking power, just like how fucking like tight he was and the tempos were spot on but he had this fucking like disgusting like uh uh water pitcher like a plastic water pitcher that was just like right next to his left foot and it was just like there's all this like drumstick sawdust in it and like the container was like really dirty and he had these like disgusting hiking socks like (laughs) like wool hiking socks and he and he think he had like converse on it was like that's the worst com- combination for drumming shoes I've ever seen in my life. But uh, he would just like fucking pound and he'd like drink this disgusting sawdust water. And I was just like, whoa, he would. <laughs> oh, he was East Coast d- punk rock. He was there. drinking. These guys are bros, man. <laughs> he was drinking the. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's all there was, you know. Right. So it's like, you know, uh, yeah. So that, that was a, a memorable yeah. <laughs> moment. But, uh, a, but was... they were always like great. They were always like great guy I, you know like uh at the vogue there used to be uh, uh local music uh sh- local music wednesdays or tuesdays, or tuesdays, tuesdays i think it was I yeah think it was. so um i remember seeing those guys uh at a like a tuesday vogue show with with uh, chad and everything and um kim and i were there and you know kurt kurt came up and introduced himself and everything because we we heard love buzz and we fucking loved it so uh yeah so we we hooked up hooked up with those guys right early on for sure yeah. i think there's a there's a photo of kurt with a Soundgarden sticker on his guitar perfect he loved uh i, I heard that he really loved screaming life yeah he really loved our first album so that's cool we played one show with them and uh we only played one show in olympia uh with nirvana at the uh park there's like a park down there in olympia um 
and we they opened for us and and there was no lights it was just like this outdoor kind of generator outdoor. kind of deal you know and so they played like at dusk and then we played like past dusk and it was just like okay we're oh no lights cool <laughs> like, so we just kept playing like no lights but it's dark out and <laughs> yeah, you're like, it's like yeah people yeah. people were digging it but uh when at that time chad had a north drum set oh yeah yeah he had the north uh -huh. drums which fucking i loved those drums great look uh that, oh, that's another story sidebar i can get into but uh uh one of my fondest memories of that show is that kurt or uh, chris bought a uh box of kentucky fried chicken and he put it in one of the North Tom Toms that like come out like that. Uh -huh. So he just he put the box of chicken in the drum, <laughs> and between songs he's going there and like have some chicken. Brought <laughs> like catering right on stage. <laughs> need the, I need some protein. <laughs> Finish this set off. Yeah. I wonder if Chad enjoyed that part. I don't, I don't think he I don't think he really knew about it. He was just kind of you can't in, even in, see in it from zone. where he is. I yeah. mean, <laughs> Whatever happened to North? Why do you think that didn't yeah. catch on? I, I don't know. Well, they, they sounded kind of, you know, plasticky. It wasn't a good sounding drum. Yeah. But it looked amazing. It was a great look. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, the first rock concert I ever went to was David Bowie, Station, Station to Station Tour, 76, I think it was, in San Diego. And uh, the drummer, who's one of my favorites of all time, Dennis Davis, had a North drum set. He did. So, and it was like, it was a white one and a black one white one you know it's like they're they're multicolored, and uh and so that was my first experience like seeing a big huge rock band like that and i i was a huge bowie fan growing up and but i thought like whoa do like all like rock you know rock concert drummers use different those color. drums <laughs> oh okay. it's like is is that is that the drum set you use for a rock concert you know it's just like ticket. my mind was just like <laughs> so many questions had you ever seen a north drum set before? no no I'd never seen a rock concert before. Right. Yeah, so it was the, mind blowing. The music store that used to be up at Lake Forest Park, um, you know, uh, you know where Lake Forest Park is. Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. So there used to be Canal Keys there. Oh, okay. The first one, or there was one in Edmonds. There was one in downtown Edmonds. I and do there remember. Was one I, I remember in Lake both. Park. Yes, yeah. yes. And the drum room in in Canal Keys, they had a, a drum room in the back. And they had a North drum set. Oh, That's really? the first time I ever saw one. Cool. cool. And then Chad, I don't know if he bought that one, but he went to <laughs> Chad went to Woodway High School. No way. Yeah. Wow. He was twin sister. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Small world. It's all about Woodway and Edmonds. I know, right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, cool looking drums. Amazing. Amazing. And I, I can hear them on uh, on Station to Station, the, the album. I can kind of hear those tones, you know, like on, on the song Station to Station when he comes in and everything. But uh, yeah, I don't think they they didn't really translate. Can, can you tell on uh, on Bleach? Yeah, for sure. You can tell. I can. Okay. Has, uh, the Tom Rolls, yeah. It has kind of that plasticky kind of sound. So that was a North Kid on the Bleach album? Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah for I sure. never put the, I, I don't sure. think I've ever heard, heard one yeah. other than like sitting behind there and when you're like 11. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. I'll have to listen to it again now. 